Hello and welcome. I am Dr. Ankit Parak. My work is a consultant in pediatric pulmonology, allergy, tuberculosis, and sleep medicine at Children's Chest Clinic, New Delhi. In this video, we talk about enlarged lymph nodes in our body. What are the common causes? And how do we diagnose the proper cause? So as we know, lymph nodes are tiny glands which are found inside a body and they are quite important for us because they help to fight against infections and they are a very important part of the immune system. Lymph nodes in our neck and at the back of the neck are called as cervical lymph nodes. These lymph nodes are very tiny in size, you cannot see them and you cannot feel them. But when they enlarge in size, they can be felt as a small swelling on the side of the neck and on the back of the neck. Now let's understand what are the common causes of enlargement of these cervical lymph nodes. The most common causes of enlargement of cervical lymph nodes are infections of the throat, which can be a common cold or it can be a tonsillar infection. Now, in addition to these, infections of the teeth or dental infections, infections of the ear and infections in the somewhere in the scalp area or even dandruff or lice in the scalp area can lead to enlargement of the cervical lymph nodes. The other causes of enlarged cervical lymph nodes are chronic infections like tuberculosis and occasionally some cancers like lymphomas. Now a very common question which everyone wants to know is that when should we worried if the cervical lymph nodes are enlarged in size? Now usually the lymph nodes which are enlarged because of common infections would improve or reduce in size with the course of antibiotics. But if the lymph nodes seem to be enlarged for a longer time, more than two weeks, then it is a cause to worry. Now, what are the investigations which are required? Now, lymph nodes which are there and which come acutely, they would usually be red, they would usually be painful, Occasionally, they would grow or enlarge in size and they can form pus inside them. Sometimes they could burst and they could be formation of a trap which, which drains some fluid or pus. These are situations when no further investigations might be required. It is a local infection and it can be treated with antibiotics. But if the lymph nodes are persisting despite a course of antibiotics, in these situations, investigations are required. These investigations could be uh, in the form of a fine needle aspiration, which means that we put in a very small needle inside the lymph node and take a small bit of a sample. Uh, this can be tested for bacteria, fungus, tuberculosis, and it can also be examined under the microscope to look at the morphological features, also known as a fine needle aspiration cytology. If this also does not give us a, a clear diagnosis, then sometimes a part of the lymph node needs to be taken out and that is what is known as a lymph node biopsy. So if your child is having lymph nodes in the neck and they are persisting, then you, you need to see a pediatric pulmonologist and tuberculosis specialist to get your child examined, to understand what are the appropriate investigations which are required and get him properly diagnosed. Thank you.